this tutorial, we'll have a look at how Vertex handles the allocation of screens onto the content space. In every media system, you have the challenge of mapping the physical outputs of any connected system onto the content space. Some systems approach this challenge by having fixed layers which are played back only on certain machines. Other systems have compositing spaces in which you draw outputs which are then allocated to systems. We have chosen an approach which we call the canvas model. As you can see here in our render editor, we have a canvas space. If we press Alt and the middle mouse, you see that this is a complete 3D environment in which you can composite content and also map out your outputs. For example, I'll add another small movie into my project, throw it on the timeline, and as you can see here, it is now positioned in my canvas space. What you see here, which looks a bit like a camera, is what we call a display surface. A display surface is what links your content space to your physical outputs. To explain that, we will now jump into here, go to Windows and add another render editor and drag and drop it next to this one. So at the moment, I'm seeing two canvas workspaces and now I will go here and I will switch this to a system view, which now shows me the output number one of my system. I'm working on a notebook, so I only have one output. If you would have four outputs connected, you would see four outputs in this view. To explain how this works, we will now select this display surface to find out how it links the content space to the output space. In the main tab of the display surface, you can see a bunch of controls used to map out your outputs. For example, here we have position rotation scale. This affects how the image which is recorded here in your content is mapped out onto your physical output. So this border, this outline here, is actually really the outline of my screen, of my notebook screen, my physical output. And if I start moving these parameters, I can move what this camera is recording in my output space. On the other hand, I can now offset my camera inside of my content space to define what it is looking at in this space. Also, if I only want to have a look at a certain section of my content, I can go to settings of my display surface and I can adjust the field of view of my display surface to only look at a certain point of my content. If you have more than one output connected to your system, you will see more than one display surface and can then individually remap each of the outputs in your content space and in your output space.